Oh boy, I sure am thirsty. I hope I don't screw this up somehow. Oh, I made this into ramen noodles again. Come on. Hey there, and welcome back to another episode of Why Show or Not. This is like the first episode of an anime side based on the other one. You can watch the show or not. And today it's SSSS Freedman. Heck yeah, we got a kaiju anime. Now that's a pretty rare genre, but what's even more surprising is that Studio Trigger is behind it. Which is always a good sign. And considering that they've already made one show with giant mechanical beings in it, this should be a breeze. So the first thing that I noticed when I started watching this show was that everything was so slow. I do hope that it picks up because right now the animation, the pacing, even a snail is faster than you. There's so much blank space between every scene, character interaction, just everything. And the animation even adds on to the boredom because most things are static. This is a scene where they're talking and then it cuts to an overall view where they keep on talking around five or six sentences but they, it's ever, it's just static. There's not, nothing moving here. I would have just expected to trigger with their Patreon and previous works to make something, I don't know, a bit more exciting. At points they even go out of their way to block the mouse so you, you can't see the character speaking, which makes it feel like it's supposed to be symbolic. But is it? Though the animation itself doesn't feel bad per se. It's colorful, charming and pretty much everything you'd expect from Trigger. I'm guessing they're just saving up right now to make some really epic action scenes at the end. So let's move on to the story. This is our main character, the redhead boy. And he has... Amnesia. We got a bit of foreshadowing in the beginning by having a computer call him and showing a picture of Greed Man, but at that moment it doesn't go anywhere and he continues on to school which takes the majority of the running time of this episode. And that part is dull. Incredibly dull. Oh my god, it was almost a pain to get through it. And the static motion of everything just makes it so much worse. Just look at this scene. So the setup is that our main character gets a sandwich and then the sandwich is thrown off by a ball. And this isn't edited by me, this is actually how it goes. It's just static picture with zooming out that continues on for about... Forever! I mean... What's the point of this? It, it, it wasn't a good gag. There isn't even really any payoff to it. Is that just meant to mess with the audience or something? But screw it, because it's finally time for epic action monster fights. A giant being attacks the city, and it's time for Greed Man to put a stop to the misery. Now, this is where the bombastic action finally kicks in, and it comes in the form of computer-generated graphics. Which I don't mind, because I feel like it perfectly encapsulates the feeling that the old shows had, with people being in suits in a movie set just slowly trashing everything. I'm not kidding when I say that for me, it perfectly replicates that same feeling. And after much consideration and Rika's thighs, I'm giving it a NOT. Because I didn't like those shows to begin with. And honestly, I don't see why people are that excited about those thighs. They don't seem really out of the ordinary or anything. So overall, for me, the show has slow and awful pacing with lackluster visuals, replicating a style that I wasn't a fan of. And I'd understand if the story was good, if it had something interesting or unique or cool characters. But for the whole entirety of the show, I could barely manage to keep myself invested and keep on listening. I'm good. No thanks. But anyways, thank you guys for watching. Please hit that like if you liked the video, dislike if you didn't like it, subscribe if you haven't yet, and I'll see you next time with Release the Spice, the anime based on the Dune novel. Hopefully. That would be kind of cool, I guess. Bye.